Yeah. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open Notre things Dame up. versus West Virginia. And Barrett's down. He kicks it off, and he got all of that and one. If I win, I play USC. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Cornhuskers yeah, entered today's win, game ranked 10th in the land, but knowing there is no oh, margin for error to hold on to a spot in the top right, 10. The and for right Nebraska, right they now have nine wins, kind of a very right solid year. So, They'll go to work at the 25-yard line. First down, 10 to go. He scrambles. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. Now he's scrambling. Brought down at the 43. Good coverage by the defense, but they have to be aware of this quarterback's tendency to scramble around and pick up some yards. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Play fake, looking to run. And he's taken down at about the 45. From their own 45-yard line, it's third down. Scrambling around. And down he goes around the 38-yard line. Times the guy's gonna run, man. That's right, he got hurt. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. I wonder how many Norman. These, these options out to the right. that are actually mine, because I was originally West He's Virginia. at the 20. He's taken down right around the 16-yard line. I actually remember recruiting Norman. First down. That motherfucker is fast. I'm just curious. I gotta check him out. Let's see what I could have had here. 91 speed. <laughs> Damn. 89 acceleration. I'm not gonna catch his ass. Man, he's a beast. Damn. Oh, fuck. Yeah, recruited him. Decent roster. Off of my recruits. Not one year. Damn. That would have been a nice player to have on my team. But of course, he's injured. Must have recruited this guy too. Yeah. Damn. First down, ten yards to go. Yeah. Ball That's on the sixteen yard line. Exclusive team right here. He's gobbled up in the backfield. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten.
Second and ten. Ball on the 16. What? Drops back to pass. He's scrambling. Yeah, he's scrambling. Get him. And they got him. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offensive first night. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Back to pass. Let's it fly. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. West Virginia is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it's good. Hey, looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. What a collision. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. You know, nothing makes a defensive coordinator happier than seeing a corner make a play like that. It's great technique. He's in position. He knocked that football away. And it's almost as if he's closing one side of the field down for this defense. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. You got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 20. He drops back. He's going to try and scramble. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's level at the 29. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. From their own 29-yard line, it's third down. He's looking to pass. And he hits him hard at the 46-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. From their own 46-yard line, first down. He is drilled at the 49. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 49-yard line, second down. All right, safety, you want to sneak up like that? The opportunity's there. Caught out in the open. He's pushed out of bounds around the 41-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 41. Here's a handoff left side. They'll bring him down at the 33. A gain of eight on the carry. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle made at about the 25-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Here's the eighth play of the series. Quick 
quick release. Tight end. Incomplete. The safety. Come up there. Benson was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. I wish I would have seen that. I would have had the other guy wide open. From the 25-yard line, it's second down. Looking to throw. Now he tries to buy some time. Man, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. And he's going to come up with a sack. Loss of six on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Fourth and long here after the sack. It's up. And it's good. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. Three three tie. Notre Dame is ready to kick it away. And this is just a booming kick. They'll set up shots at the 25. They'll run the option. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. Clayton gets about a yard on the play. That brings up second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on their own 26. He fights forward to about the 29. The back gets three on the carry. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes. It's third down and six to go. Ball on their own 29. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. Nice defensive stand there. And it's a good play calling defensively. They always had someone in the right spot to make a play and force the three and out. Neal is the deep man awaiting the return. Neal fields at the 31. He's at midfield. Gets a block on the corner. And they push him out at the 28-yard line. They'll take over at the 28. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 27-yard line. He tackles him for a loss. Loss of one yard on the play. Third down. We played one. And this one's knotted up at three. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. the 13. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Wildcats took the field ranked 11th, but hoping an impressive win could move them into the top 10. The Cowboys have the perfect connection and a touchdown. From the 13-yard line, first down. He's got to throw it in a hurry, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Uh, it's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. He's tackled at the 15.
So we're looking at another third down here. They're calling an audible. Going to the end zone, and it's coming back out. That's a great tackle at the eight-yard line. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the eight. Brought down at the eight. From their own eight-yard line. Second down. Looks middle, got his back, and he's taken down right around the four-yard line. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Third down. Defense will be digging in here as they're inside their own five. This place is rocking. Throws it to the outside. And down he goes, around the 35-yard line. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The midshipmen came into the game ranked third, but all week long, they said they deserve to be the number one team in the land. And for Navy, they're looking to stay undefeated. It's first down and 10 now, after picking up some great yardage through the air. He's on the run. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. So he keeps it and picks up maybe a yard on the play. And it's difficult to run on this defense when they put this kid up in the box. Second and nine. Ball on their own 36. Norman with the option. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Quinn gets the option for about a two- or three-yard gain. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Drops back to pass. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 46. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too, that's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. He drops back. He goes downtown. Picked off. Tackle made the 32-yard line. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. From their own 32-yard line, it's first down. Drops back to pass. He lets it fly. Almost intercepted. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 32. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gain of four on the play. Third down. It's third and seven. Ball on the 36-yard line. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled around the 48-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 48-yard line, first down. Back to pass. Rose right, intercepted. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Time to set sail yeah. for Annapolis. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Navy, a very lethargic performance so far. If they don't watch out, they're going to be in a world of hurt. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop at the 41-yard line.
They're giving away free yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. It's first and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 27-yard line. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. How about the hit by the defender? Just a great job of pursuing the ball, and that's how you finish off a tackle. And he's hit immediately. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. First and 10. Ball on the 15. Can't find anyone open. Tackle at the 11-yard line. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody open downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 11. They go with the option. Laterals back, and he's got space. Touchdown, West Virginia. Boy, he looked determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. Man, that was all Norman. Damn. I wish I would have been able to bring him to Notre Dame. West Virginia, up six. He makes the PAT. A four-play, 26-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 10. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Sheds a tackler. He gets hit out of bounds at the 36-yard line. The screen play worked that time for a decent pickup. Yep, you're right. Excellent call to go to the screen to maybe slow down this defensive pass rush a little bit. They're changing the play. Steps up. He's going to air it long. And he makes the catch to the 10. Touchdown! And for Neal, he now owns the school's record for touchdown catches in a career. I don't think this record has come easily for him, but he looks just as quick and sure-handed as he did when he first got here. He's got a lot of great football left in him. And he adds the extra point. A short two-play, 76-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You know, as a defensive coordinator, I think right now, you almost look like you're coaching scared. You, you've got to be able to go back to Monday through Friday, all the preparation that you put in to get ready for this game, and trust that and go out and start to call this defense with some confidence. Right now, they look rattled. This one's all even at 10. They'll start at the 26-yard line. Back to pass. Now he tries to buy some time. And he is drilled at the 25. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, and especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. And they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. He scrambles. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's to the 40. Across midfield, and he dives, and he's down. So they get the first down on the quarterback scramble. This guy just showed what makes him a great dual-threat quarterback. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. Scrambling around. Come on, hit him. And he hits him hard at the 37. 
Four yards there on the scramble. He might be playing a cat and mouse game here with the defense. Back to pass. He's on the run. Decides to slide. Notre Dame's going to take their first time out of the half. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Clayton takes the give. Tackled after a decent pickup. First down. Looks like he might audible out of that play. It's embarrassing. He's scrambling. It's a fumble. Finally. And the defense is on it. They work hard and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. The offense will take over at the 29-yard line. And he doesn't like what he sees. He's going to change the play here. He sails it long. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. Russell the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Looks to pass. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Notre Dame will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on their own 27. He drops back. Once and all, going deep. Incomplete. We've played a half and a 10-10 tie in this game. Well, if you love defensive football, you had to really enjoy that first half. Time to start the second half in this low-scoring matchup. From his own goal line. Brought down at the 32. Well, the story of the first half is one of turnovers. Both teams had trouble holding onto the ball. And let's hear from Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, there was no lack of tension in that first half. I couldn't really get a sense of how coaches felt about things heading into the locker room, but you could see that some players were annoyed. The quarterbacks haven't been so lucky, each taking numerous sacks. Brad, back up to you. Fires to the wideout, first down. He looked pretty confident that time on the throw. Yeah, good throw in the coverage it looked like, and you're right, he seems well composed, very sure of himself on that play. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45. And it looks like they're going to change it up here. Complete. He's got room. And he's taken down around the 46-yard line. Number 16 on the tackle at the 46-yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They'll get a first down there on the play with the run from the tailback. He knew where he had to go to get the first down, and he got there. Nice run. From the 42-yard line, first down. He throws it. Makes the catch, and look out. They'll bring him down at the three-yard line. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. They've been stopped short down here the last two trips. They'll run it. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And now that these guys have broken the tie on that touchdown, they'll have to see if their defense can hold on to the lead. Notre Dame is up by six. And he tacks on the extra point. 
It was a five-play, 67-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. But the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They go with the run. He gets to about the 41-yard line. That's a gain of 16 on the play. First down. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. And a quick throw. He's at midfield. At the 30. Down the sideline. And he's finally shoved out at the 20. The quarterback dumped it off, and everyone did a good job of blocking up front. Doesn't get much better than that. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. And he's going to be sacked. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the 31. Nowhere to go on the quarterback scramble. That'll bring up third and long. From the 31 yard line, it's third down. Norman drops back. And he might want it all here and does. And this will be caught. Touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. Uh, I hate playing my own team. It's good. And he converts the extra point. Kane gets set to kick this one away. Neal from the one. He's to the 10. Gets out to about the 21. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. Yeah, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. From their own 23-yard line, second down. He's tackled at the 31 yard line. Number 16 makes the tackle at the 31 yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. If you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. From their own 35-yard line, first down. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. And down he goes at midfield. He's had a good game, snaring passes for 100 yards. you got to love this quarterback-receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. First and 10, ball on the 50-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 44. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Tackle.
Go around the 45 yard line. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up 36. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Looking to throw. Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down at about the 35. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Here's an opening. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tackle made around the 25-yard line. First down. From the 25-yard line, first down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. From the 19-yard line, second down. On the run, room around the corner. And that sets them up for the first and goal. They're really putting a nice drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Good outside run there. Second down and goal. About a yard to Pater. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. They'll try the fullback and plows ahead for the touchdown. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. An opportunity to impose his will on the defense. That is a clutch touchdown. Tie game, and they find a way to put it in for six. I know there's a lot of time left, but that was a big one. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Notre Dame ready to kick this one off. He got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll start at the 25-yard line. He looks to throw on first down. He scrambled. Lost the ball. Fumble. I don't know. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Man, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. They'll go to work at the 23-yard line. Notre Dame is up seven. Drops to throw on first down. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20. Here's an option, right side. Brought down, right around the 30. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 30. Clayton takes the delayed handoff. Nice run there. Gain of six on the draw play. That'll make it second and four.
That's three down and one to go. Notre Dame's lead is a touchdown. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. On play action, he'll scramble. Scoops up the loose ball. And they make the stop at about the 41. Boy, that nearly cost them. They're very fortunate to get the football back. Late in the game like this, the number one thing is taking care of the football. First and 10. Ball on the 41 yard line. Counter right. Makes it out to about the 50. That's a gain of nine on the play. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Gets rid of it quickly. Incomplete. Almost picked off. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Crowd's going to be a factor here on third and short. Run left side. Makes it to the 41. Very well designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. This is the eighth play of this drive. First down and back to pass. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Can this offense do anything to slow down this defense? Well, they need to start keeping their backs in to help out in blocking. The quarterback is getting pounded back there. Norman running the option. Runs outside for a nice game. Gain of six yards. That'll make it third and five. They'll line it up again on third down. Right now, the crowd is number 12 of the 11 on the field defensively. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down around the 24-yard line. Again, 12 yards. First down. Let's try that for me, too, so we can First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24. Hut. Tackled after a decent pickup. Gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. From the 20 yard line, second down. Here we go! Hut. Tackled for a loss. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and six. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. They'll bring him down at the 17-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Fourth down. Fourth down. And the offense is still on the field. Notre Dame will take their first time out of the half. They're showing blitz. And they might be coming with a blitz here. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Notre Dame up seven points. He chucks it downfield. And it's going the other way. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. That interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this. 
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. And he's level at the 45. Call the loss of one yard on the play. That makes it second and 10. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. Oh, they really needed that one, and he dropped it. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The midshipmen come into today's game ranked number three in all the land. This was a tight one to the very end. To get back in this game here in the fourth, this third and goal is vital. This place is starting to get fired up. He drops back. Nope. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. is the putter. This quarterback has certainly had better games in his college career. The thing that's standing out to me right now, Brad, is this defense has been so consistent with their pass rush that I'm noticing the quarterback's eyes, instead of looking downfield and reading the defense, he's actually looking down at the pressure and is more concerned about that than making the proper read. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Just under three to go in regulation. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on their own 45. He goes downtown. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. And a good defensive play. you got to give this corner a lot of credit. He continued to give great effort on the deep pattern. Got just enough in the way of the receiver to knock it down. It's second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Neal picks up six yards with that grab. Fourth down. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. Plenty of hang time on this one. Tackle made at the 12-yard line. It really has. They're dominating the point of attack. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. This drive will start at the 12. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's tackled around the 32-yard line. Gain of 20 yards. First down. Children's position. From their own 32-yard line. First down. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Throws a strike over the middle. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That could be a check with me right there. That makes it second and 14. Just under two to go in the game. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That brings up third and 12. Pretty obvious passing down here as they're faced with third and long. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's going to be sacked. You now, the quarterback, I think, could have done a better job with a pre snap read to be able to see and recognize the blitz. That way, he could have communicated and maybe adjusted the protection up front. That time, a miscommunication by the offensive lineman against the blitz freed up the defensive line to get the pressure on the quarterback. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Notre Dame's a little confused. They used their second timeout.
tackle made at the 38-yard line. They'll take over at the 38. It's the tailback. Nice gain as he works the right side. West Virginia just took their first time out. Second down and five. Ball on the 34. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. And he hits him hard at the 42. Defense just came up with a huge interception. That might be the biggest play of the game. This is my team that I heard. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42. Under a minute left in the game. He's scrambling. Slides down. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. Back to pass. Now he's scrambling. He's at the 30. He's taken down at the 20. That's good for a gain of 18 yards. We'll wait and see here if he really does change the play. The spike will stop the clock. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the twenty yard line. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Third and long here in the fourth, and this is the biggest third down of the ball game. It's absolutely deafening down there. And down he goes, right around the 18-yard line. And he doesn't like what he sees. He's going to change the play here. And here's a quick throw. This one will fall incomplete. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. West Virginia's out of timeouts. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. A great game here today in a tight one. 24-17, Notre Dame. West Virginia, 17.